again, sir. Good morning, uh, countrymen and women, and good morning to all those who are uh, watching us from beyond the borders of Zambia. Yesterday, I did issue a statement advising government to take responsibility and to analyze the whole issue of the killings of Unsaman Sama and Joseph last week. I did allude to the fact that what we needed was a report indicating to who pulled the trigger, who killed those uh, two uh, deceased colleagues, and what is the way forward in terms of our police and policing in this country. I did allude to the fact that the statement that was issued by the police was intimidating, was arrogant, and very unreasonable. And I did demand that the police must retract that statement and apologize to the people of Zambia. On the other hand, I did call on the president to take a lead in this matter and provide leadership. And I did recommend that what has happened indeed requires changes in the police a leadership and in the leadership at the Minister of Home Affairs. As demanded and as requested, the president responded. But I want to be very categorical and say that what the president has done is not sorting or resolving this problem. To the contrary, Mr. President, we are setting Zambia abreast by this decision. First and foremost, there's absolutely no way, absolutely no way that when an institution is found wanting, an institution is found wanting to take the blame, who should be responsible for Capeso and Simbotwe? Certainly it's the head of the institution who is the Inspector General of Police. But why do you want to leave the Inspector General of Police continue in his position and then fire to fire the Inspector General of Police? That could have at least sorted out the problem. And to make matters worse, to add salt to the injury, the two individuals that have been promoted left the police force, the police service. For us to resolve this problem, we need to have leadership in the police that are reasonable, down to earth, who will have recourse to the... Let's take, for instance, Madam Katanga. Madam Katanga is the most brutal police officer that we have in this country at the moment. She's the most brutal police officer that we have in this country. She's very unreasonable. She doesn't respect democracy. She doesn't want to see the opposition. And she doesn't take any action against PF cadres and the PF related uh, individuals. For instance, during the Rwanda by election, the Rwanda general election, PF brutalized the people. They went with machetes and pangas and everything and killed Obed Kasongo. As we speak today, countrymen and women, Katanga has refused the officer commanding in Luansha and the officer in charge in Patamato to go ahead and defect the arrests in the case of those who killed uh, Kasongo, including Boman Rusambo. 
she went there and started exhibiting the pangas that were collected from PF and says these pangas were actually collected from NDC. The Copper Belt province has recorded the highest number of arrests of opposition members when they meet, even at section level, at ward level, under the instruction of Kat Katanga. Do you expect, now that she's inspector, Deputy Inspector General in charge of operation, where is Zambia going to do? Mr. President, I can rest assure you, you've created more problem than we were in. In fact, this could be described as jumping from a flying pan into the actual fire. Katanga does not deserve to even commandeer even a police station in a shanty compound. She's a lawyer, trained lawyer, but she's not reasonable. She's too brutal to the extent that when opposition leaders are arrested, countrymen and women, she refuses for them to have access to a mattress and blankets. It happened to me. It happened to Godfrey Mwamba. It happened to HH. When I'm arrested in Lusaka, I am allowed for my relatives to bring a small mattress, bed, a, a, a blanket, and also a pillow. On the Copper Belt province, when you are arrested under Katanga, you are not allowed to have access. In fact, what she does, she will sit at the police station until about zero one to make sure that nobody brings a mattress or what kind of a human being is she? Does she really deserve to be promoted to be in charge of operations in this country? The answer is a big no. My older brother, President Edgar Lungu, please. Yes, you need to take action. But the action that you have taken is not going to resolve this problem. It's actually going to create more problems. If you take Kapeso and compare to Katanga, Kapeso is a more reasonable police officer by far in terms of brutality and not following the law than Katanga. This Mwene is the one who escorted us under gun with guns chasing us from Chilubi Island. Chasing us from the uh, Chilubi campaign with guns almost escorting us 100 kilometers from Chilubi. That's the person who's going to be in charge of administration. What are we telling the country? What are we telling the nation? What are we trying to achieve? My dear brother, President Edgar Lungu, I beg with you, leave a legacy. Leave a legacy that will stand the test of time. I fear that you are being misled. The people that are advising you are wrong people. They don't love you. They don't like you. They want you to fail completely so that the Zambians can vote you out and the Zambians can forever hate to have anything to do with the name Edgar Lungu. It is never too late, my brother. It is never too late. Please rescind the decision of these two gentlemen. There are a lot of reasonable people in the police force, well-educated, who can take up those positions, who can respect the rule of law, who can also respect the people of Zambia and have recourse to the provision in the Constitution. Katanga does not allow any meetings on the Copper Belt. When you apply for a permit for security reasons, you are, but the PF goes on to have meetings at will. And she's very brutal, extremely brutal. It's just that police officers can't speak. And you people from the office of the president, you are not helping matters. Because the job of the people from the office of the president is to pick information and advise the president. Police officers on the complaint, on the Copper Belt, complain against Katanga that this woman doesn't know how to work with people. She doesn't know no administration. For her, it is brutality and it is about her and her instructions. My heart bleeds. These two promotions 
of Mwene and Katanga, I swear one day I will be vindicated. And every time I speak about things, I get to be vindicated. I am convinced beyond reasonable doubts. Very soon, we'll have more problems. We'll have more killings. We'll have more people detained in this country than ever before. Under Katanga. And Kanganja. Even if the president did not fire you. My brother, do the most uh, reasonable thing. Resign on your own. Resign on your own. Automatically by the president saying, I'm giving him six months to try and reorganize, and then after six months a decision will be made. Simply means there's no confidence in you. There's no confidence in you. The police needs to have the people's confidence. The police service needs to have, people must have trust and, you know, and confidence in the police service. But at the moment, the trust and confidence of people in the police service is at its lowest ebb. People don't trust the police. Then you go and bring a brutal woman, a brutal woman in the name of Katanga to be in charge of operations. Cry, my beloved country. I don't know what we, legacy we, we want to leave. You know, for me, I speak with passion because I love this country. And I have no qualms against anybody. President Edgar Lungu, I regard him as my brother. HH is my brother. Everybody is my brother. And when I speak to advice like this, please listen. Where I come from, they say, Narikwevele tabulapo. Narikwevele tabulapo. Elo kabili uwa kwewe mfwa ya kwa noko. Mutanshi. But sometimes I'm misunderstood. It will not be long. You see the true colors of Katanga and Mwene. They will do something bigger than what has happened killing two. We are going to have 20 people killed at a go. It's not long ago Katanga was saying during the gassing, when we go to investigate, people are turning into cats. Surely. How can somebody, a police officer, even issue that statement at Ngatuayam Kumonam Sealing Body, Valuka Vapush? Just that will tell you that this person is not normal. How can somebody claim what our gassing Valia Luka Vapush? Nobody Luka Vapush at any push Mukomene. Tumonenga Kaluko Muntu foot. So for me, I've spoken, I've advised, and I have a desire to take or discard or leave it. But by and large, under the circumstances, Kanganja should have been fired. Of course, he's two deputies, but we should have found reasonable people, more reasonable people. Because we need to change the police. There must be police reforms. And police reforms must be to the effect that the people who are running the command must be people with reasonable thinking and people who should respect the rule of law. And Katanga does not respect the rule of law. When an opposition leader is arrested, is kept in detention for five days before he's taken to court. Delayments, delayments. No police bond. When a, a, a PF cadre is arrested, is given police bond there and then. Are these the people you want to run the police? Are these the people who should be heading our most in, important institution in terms of security? Abash Katanga. We cannot allow that. I think we need to start moving away from rhetoric and be real in the way we run this country. It is very painful. It's very painful. I want to have a pair, Inspector General of Police, in South Africa, in England, everywhere, when such a thing happen, in fact, the Inspector General of Police doesn't need to be fired. He should resign himself. 
Kanganja should have resigned that day himself without being fired. What is it that you want, Kanganja, as Inspector General of Police? You have failed. Why do you want to continue remaining in office? If this decision is not rescinded on Katanga, I want to warn you, Madam Katanga, that please don't bring your brutality to the entire police force. It was better being confined to the copper belt because we're only in charge of the copper belt. But if you're going to bring your brutality and your unreasonableness to the entire police force, then we are going 50 years backwards. We are going 50 years backwards. The police is now supposed to be a service, to provide a service, not to be a force. But watch the space. This Katanga woman, watch the space. Thank you very much. Pleasure. I haven't yeah, gone to that because there's one more information I'm waiting for. Which should have been given to me, but I haven't received it yet. I don't comment on issues until I get all the final information. So if I get it this afternoon, I'll call you back. Okay. If I don't, early in the morning tomorrow before I do my wishes.